Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 116 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters, and you are very welcome. So we are moving on to the next mission in the Delta Quadrant story arc, and as you can probably see here from the background, we are back on Kabali Prime. Now before we actually accept that mission, um, we have built up another five specialization points. So we are going to spend those now, and this will actually complete the strategist secondary specialization tree for us. Now, once we have all five points spent, we will get a new starship trait. If I just quickly go over to traits here, you can see we have two. Um, we got this one from completing the pilot specialization tree, and we got this one from our tier six ship. So let's um, finish out this tree, and we can take a quick look at our new starship trait. Now bear in mind, because this is a secondary specialization, um, there is no improved version of the Starship trait that comes from this. It is just uh, a straight out Starship trait. So uh, this is it here, Unconventional Tactics. Brace for Impact grants damage buff, a 15% bonus all damage to self for 15 seconds when activating Brace for Impact. A 15% boost in all damage, that's actually pretty significant. Um, granted, we don't use Brace for Impact all that often, um, if at all really, but it might be something that, um, you know, might start uh, taking into consideration using Brace for Impact. Um, Brace for Impact um, is of course a, 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 a damage resistance buff. Uh, to uh, incoming damage, um, uh, but uh, you know, the content isn't that hard, and it's just something that we don't use, um, at least not that often, anyway. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, get our mission brief. Our time to strike is now, before the Vadwar can deploy their main chemical payload. We would like you to be a part of the assault squad. Your first step will be to take and secure the Vadwar forward base in the mountains. Capture the base, and then meet with our squad in one of our hidden outposts in the mountains. They'll brief you on the next step. Move fast. We do not know when the Vodwar will begin releasing their chemical payload. Okay, so we have to go to the mountains and complete the open mission, breaking the gates. Um, and uh, we get a superior universal research tech upgrade. Um, this gives the same amount of tech points as a normal superior tech upgrade, but it has a 1.2 times quality improvement chance. Uh, so it's just a little bit better than a superior tech upgrade. Um, and it's universal, so it'll work on anything. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll accept that. We can't stop until the va And we'll make this our primary. And we are going to go down to the transporter pad here. And we're going to go up to the upper hillside base. Okay. So the exit should be out this way. There it is. Sorry about that folks, I got a crash to desktop there, uh, just as I came out of the cave, um, but uh, we're back in game now, so let's uh, continue on and hope that we do not get any more of them. Um, I've said this before, clearly there is something up with uh, my system and this particular map at the gates. Huh. Ah, right, okay, this is where we have to go. So the first step uh, is to get into this box here that we are in now and uh, basically wait for the point to be captured. Um, you can see here, it's, you can see here, it's called a choke point, um, but basically it's just a capture point. Uh, you just have to go into the area and uh, stay in it long enough to capture it. Um, if any VOD work come into the capture point, progression stops, uh, but that's pretty self-explanatory. It's 
So we're about one third of the way there now. See progression. Okay, we're about two thirds of the way there now. Almost there. This is also one of those um, areas that uh, scale. So the more people that is in the area, like the immediate area, uh, the more enemies that will uh, spawn uh, to combat you. Okay, sorry about that again, folks. I got another crash to desktop. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it looks like we have to start this thing all over again because we've jumped into a different instance which is to say it's a, a PC at the very least all we can do is hope that we don't get any more Almost there. That bit done. Well, we have officially got further than we did the last time. Okay, hold the line against incoming Vodwar. So I'm guessing, yeah, they're, they'll just spawn in and we just have to uh, kill them.
Okay, dismantle Vodwar communication towers. Those are this direction. Here. Might as well just clear the area before we actually start doing it. It's better in the long run. Let bridge officers take care of that. I will get the communication tower. Die, 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 die! Okay, now we can do it. Recover final choke point for volley forces. Okay. Pick up our loose on the way. Is that a bottle of Chateau Picard we picked up? It looks like it. There's the final choke point. So this is the same as the previous one. You just uh, jump into it, and uh, we have to hold it um, from the attacking Vodwar, like so. to this corner we can uh, engage the attacking vod war sooner looks like we're about a third of the way there we're actually over a third of the way Actually, work out rather easy. Those Kabali troops that are down there are um, attacking these guys as they spawn in, which is pretty cool. Alright, we're almost there. About 80% of the way there. Excellent. Now, this is something that I want to point out. This mission that we just done is a repeatable 
mission once every 20 hours and you have a choice of getting either Delta Alliance marks um, with uh, the elite marks for Delta rep is the ancient power cells or you can go with the Iconium resistance marks and get the Iconium Pro data cores. Okay, so I have to apologize again, folks. Um, got yet another um, crash of desktop there. Uh, thankfully, um, I didn't lose my uh, reward for that mission. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, you have a choice of either one of these. So if you're finding it hard to get, let's say, Iconium Marks and Iconium Pro data cores, you know, like for picking up uh, the Iconium set, for example, uh, know that you can come here once every 20 hours and you can do this mission and you will get um, like there 61 marks and we got an Ipro Iconium probe data core along with some dilithium and skill and expertise points. Right, uh, let's turn in this mission. Right, um, Okay, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. It uh, looks like our next one is going to be with our last breath. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I really, really appreciate it. Um, your support has been fantastic. If you enjoy this episode, please leave a like. Uh, uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. And subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will help me out enormously um, since I'm just getting started. And this is my first Let's Play series. But anyway... My name is Winters, and I will see you next time, so until then, take care.